Christian metal comes in all shapes and sizes and all genres, uh, quite frankly. And this one today is for Dustin Hull. Uh, we are doing some mortification. Uh, I think that is what we are in for, my friends. Uh, we're in for some heavy stuff from this band, Mortification. And I do believe I'm, I'm speaking correctly when I said that they are Christian metal. And today we are doing Scrolls of the Megalith. Uh, for Dustin Hall there, and it is the top number one jam in their top five here. Uh, we're going to learn about mortification, that we're going to listen to the song for the very first time, and if that sounds like something that you'd be uh, on board with doing, then I'm excited to announce to you right now that that's exactly what we're going to do in three, two, one, mortification. They have 7,020 monthly listeners to the Spotify account, top five songs. Three of them come from this album right here. Uh, you got Scrolls of the Megalith. That's got 173,000 plays. You got Terminate Damnation. That's got 101,000 plays. From a different album, you got From the Valley of Shadows, uh, 97,000 plays. Then back to this album here for Nocturnal, 83,000 plays. Until the end, 51,000 plays from a different album. And since uh, we're talking about albums, let's see what they've released in their uh, careers. Um, do they have... 2015 was the last that they put out, I mean, if these numbers are correct, but they've been around a, a, a long time. Uh, the album we're doing today came out in 92, but you've got Mortification, the self-titled, 1991. Then you got Scrolls of the Megaloth, 1992, then Scrolls of the Megaloth. Uh, why does it say Scrolls of the Megaloth, and then Scrolls of the Megaloth, M-E-G. You got M-A-G-A-L-O-T-H. That's not what we're doing. Then we're doing scrolls of the M-E-G-I-L-L-O-T-H. Is that something that I'm not smart enough to know? Then you got Post Momentary Affliction, 1993. These albums might be, the years might be goofed. You got Blood World. You got The Best of Five Years. You got Primitive Rhythm Machine. You got Live Without Fear, Hammer of God. Ten Years Live Not Dead, Relentless, Brain Cleaner, 2004, Erasing the Goblin, 2006, they've been going for it. Live Humanitarian, The Evil Addiction, Scribe of the Pentateuch, Pentateuch, Erasing the Goblin, Reissue, 2013, Brain Cleaner, Reissue, you got another Relentless Reissue, uh, Scribe of the Pentateuch, Reissue. 2013, and then uh, 2015, Realm of the Skeletor. Skeletor. That's uh, S-K-E-L-A-T-A-U-R. Skeletor. So it's not Skeletor, the He-Man thing. Uh, yeah, so that's it for them albums. Now what we like to do is we look into the related artists. This will give us an idea of who they might have played shows with. Who do people listen to when they listen to this band? I want to say Living Sacrifice was on here, and indeed they were. Living Sacrifice, that's one of the bands that we have done here on the uh, first listens. Crimson Moonlight. You got uh, Deuteronomonium. Deuteronomium. Jesus. Deuteronomium. 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 Oh my God. That name. Have, the, have the cops pull you over, get you out of the car, whether you're sober or drunk, and say that ten times. Deuteronomium. Deuteronomium. My goodness. Come up with a better damn name than that. Reminiscent. You got uh, an, uh, Antester. It's not even Ancestor. It's Antester. A N T E S T O R. Uh, Anti-Demon, that might be something interesting. Holy Blood, ooh. Tourniquet, we've mentioned them before. Uh, Sacrificium, Extol, we have done on the first listens. Vengeance Rising, and Deliverance, we have done them on the first listens. So I think at this point, there's no doubt about it, that they are a Christian metal band. Uh, there is no image of the band. I will hunt down an image. It will be them. They will be looking into the camera. They'll be saying, Shane, quit being such a sourpuss on that Deuteronomonium band. Jesus, come at us. We'll kick you in the goodie bags. Mortification is considered by many to be the most extreme Christian band in existence. Formed in 1990 from the remains of a band called Light Force, Mortification sought to provide a positive alternative to traditional death metal acts such as Carcass, Death, and Obituary. 
on the strength of their self-titled 1990 uh, debut, Mortification quickly gained a reputation in their native Australia for being one of the loudest and fastest bands around. Their 1992 follow-up Scrolls of the Megalith uh, garnered the band some attention from the heavy metal underground and contains some of the most frightening vocals ever recorded. Their le later albums were more experimental, combining elements of punk, death, and thrash metal. They include 1998's Triumph, Triumph of Mercy. We never read that off. 2000, 10 Years to Live, Not Dead. Bassist vocalist Steve Rowe has handled most of the songwriting chores for the group and is the only remaining original member of the band. So there you have that. It is time. Scrolls of the Megaloth. Megaloth. Mm. Yeah. So, Dustin Hall, my friend, my friend, it is your time to shine here, and Mortification's time to shine. And perhaps uh, this might be a little too heavy duty for uh, Christian rock fans. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Christian metal stuff on this channel, and I don't mind doing it. And uh, this might be uh, the heaviest uh, and gruffest and roughest and toughest of all Christians. So, Magic Nipple in Hand. I give you a taste, I take a taste, we listen to the song Scrolls of the Megalith together for the very first time. Scariest vocals. Wow. Let's see what that's all about. Church bells, everyone get inside. Time to sing hymns. Come on, baby. That's going to have to be good enough. I like to sync the songs with a nice bang. They got Quasimodo up there in the church bells tower. Nice raw recording. Yeah, if you didn't know anybody, you'd say bullshit. They're not, they're not Christian metal. Definitely got that old school raw sound, man. Fresh and new. For 90, 92. Yes, I got the of the fire God. 
can imagine someone listening to this going, oh, this is the most satanic set. No, it's not. Just goes to show you judging a book by a cover, right? They said it was the bass player singer, right? Scrolls of the Megaloth. Scrolls of the Megaloth. What's this? Terminate Damnation. I mean, I'm a fan of me some extreme metal like that, and, and that was not bad at all. I love, there's something that is so lovable about the, uh, the old school recording process from the 80s and 90s, you know, two inch tape or whatever, if you're lucky to get it. That shit's expensive. You know, the two-inch tape. If you go into a recording studio and they have two-inch tape, you know, reel-to-reel, -reel, two-inch tape, you're like, fancy. This is a fancy joint, you know. But uh, uh, what say you? Most important part of my videos where you get in the comments below because I love to read your feedback and your comments and your opinions and your thoughts on the songs that we do here. So you can say, good, great, fantastic. Shane, I am a huge fan of Mortification. Absolutely. Since the very beginning, since the, uh, the, the early 90s, when I found this band, I have been in love with them. Um, what are your all-time favorite songs from this band and your all-time favorite album? If you had to pick one album and say, man, this is the banger from the band, what would that be? And did you ever get a chance to see uh, the band live? I would be curious about that. How was that experience and who might have they, they have played those shows with would also be interesting to me. You could, or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, it scared me deeply. I get it that it's Christian metal, but I don't have to subscribe to every Christian metal band that comes out there because I like the softer stuff. I like the hard rock stuff, and I'm not into the extreme metal, uh, death metal type style Christian metal stuff. I am sorry, but that's just the way it's going to be. It's not my cup of tea. I don't want it. I'm going to say toodaloo. Um, yeah, you can't judge a book by its cover, can you? You go see that band live, and you go, they're going to go out and eat a baby after this. They're going to kill something and eat it right after this. No, really, he's just singing about uh, his Heavenly Father. That's all he's singing about. Uh, so get in those comments below and tell me what you think. And if you have a hard rock, a heavy metal special request, you'd like to see it here on the channel. It's a simple process. Just click one of those links in the description below. We'll get it on for you in your honor with tithings and blessings to you in your honor and sweets and stuff. Dustin Hall, there comes the thumbs for you. Look at that. There they are. And now they're going to take off. They're going to go. They're going to head on out of town. There you go. Um, that's all I have for this. So let's swing in for a kiss and say goodbye bye to you, okay? Mortification.